Hello again everybody and a very warm welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a uh, much loved freeware toolbar pushback program that's now gone payware and it's going to be distributed and managed via Aerosoft releasing on the 22nd of February 2024 for PC and Xbox users and it's uh, toolbar pushback pro. Before we dive into the details, if you're new to the channel, very warm welcome on board to you. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below, and it's important to share your thoughts too, so pop them down in the comments section below. Throughout this video, I'm going to be making reference to things like GSX Pro, and uh, that's what we're using to board the passengers here at Bristol Airport at the moment, and also considering the Parallel 42 Flow Pro, which gives me this little wheel here. Um, and you'll notice the new icon there for pushback, which is Toolbar Pushback Pro from Aerosoft. So, what are the differences then? Well, let's have a little bit of context. Two years ago, roughly, Ambitious Pilots created uh, Toolbar Pushback for Microsoft Flight Simulator. We covered it on the channel as well at the time, and it offered a really nice freeware pushback module or program or add-on for the sim, which uh, actually expanded and progressed in its development quite nicely to include a pushback planner system um, which we enjoyed using until of course GSX arrived which allows us to have this immersive footprint of the aircraft in conjunction with custom profiles um, allowing us to board passengers cargo so on and so forth but I appreciate not everybody wants to go to the depths of having to install a custom GSX uh, profile for every single airport they've got and of course for the last six plus months a lot of people have been complaining that the ambitious pilots toolbar pushback program hasn't been working properly um, and causing crash to desktops and all manner of things it turns out that they've actually been uh, working with Aerosoft this whole time um, which would kind of give us the um, reasoning in a way behind their last update being all the way back in March the 17th 2022 for the freeware version and they're now releasing it as a payware item from the 22nd of February 2024 as we mentioned in the intro at 9 euros 95 cents including taxes so in UK money we're looking about £8.50 to £9 approximately for uh, Aerosoft's Toolbar Pushback Pro. The links for which will be in the description as well, by the way, folks. So, what does it offer? Uh, while we board all these punters for our flight to Alicante today out of a very murky, windy and wet Bristol, um, you're going to still have the option of a freeware version, which is really nice to see. But that will be missing a number of key features that you will want to use if you're considering freeware versus pro and there is a bit of a table um, which I think is going on the Aerosoft forums showing you the difference between the two and um, I'll pop it on the screen just about now as well for you so you can read through it too um, but it's things like the free version doesn't have automatic forward towing but the pro version does they both have pushback pre-planning which is really good to use we'll go through that shortly but the audio is also slightly different as well so the pro version has got completely re-recorded um, pushback audio sounds if you're on Xbox then the free version won't really be an option because uh, the Xbox support comes with the Aerosoft toolbar pushback pro package not the freeware version and uh, the pro version as well allow you to have the Grand Crew and Pilot voices in different languages and accents. They have said that the freeware will continue to be updated on the release, uh, which is good to hear, but it will lack a lot of functionality that the Pro version will have. Um, things like connectivity for the Aerosoft VDGS functions, um, which won't be available on release, but will be a feature that they have planned for a future update. So at this point in time, all the passengers are on, the cargo is almost completely loaded, we're thinking about pushback. And uh, ordinarily, for the last year and a bit, I'd revert to my GSX uh, Pro, which is a fantastic product. If you haven't got it, I highly recommend it now. Um, it's certainly a lot more stable than it was on its original release, uh, and it works really nicely. But I'd be now gearing this up for preparations of pushback with my custom profile here at Bristol. It's worth showing you guys the layout 
of the apron here because Bristol certainly stands six and this little cul-de-sac that I've positioned us in here it has a very unique pushback set uh, of instructions and it'll include a pushback that will take the aircraft all the way to that line just there on the taxiway so it's a weird pushback um, and it can result in us having to go backwards and then have the tail pushed all the way onto that main taxiway to face forwards for a short taxi to runway 27. So quite interesting, very um, unique which is why I've picked this airport to put it to the test and show you its options. GSX with its custom pushback profile would just be me clicking a button, uh, preparing for pushback and then selecting the direction I want the nose to face um, and because this uh, airport has a custom pushback functionality with GSX within the profile. I could select uh, the correct accurate pushbacks required as per the um, procedures here at this airport, which is really good. We don't quite have that though with Toolbar Pushback Pro. So I'm going to select the icon here, use my Parallel 42 Flow Pro. If you've got the drop down menu at the top of your screen in the sim, then it, the principles are the same. You want to basically click the icon. Uh, that you can see here, this kind of pushback icon that you will see on your drop down UI. And then we get a couple of options. So connect tug, start manual pushback, parking brake and plan pushback. In the tools uh, section we can select some different ground services. So whereas GSX is automated, this one will require us to select the ones that we want to use, including um, toggling, wheel chocks on and off, air stairs, so on and so forth. And there's an options tab as well allowing you to change the speed of your pushback to as fast as 9 knots and as slow as 1. 4 knots, 5 knots, certainly reasonable and you can turn off the simulation of nose wheel lift if you uh, don't want that. Expanding the options even more we can see uh, that we've got all of these to choose from. So enable pushback audio, different volume options for the ground crew and the flight deck, uh, and we can manually dismiss the ground services as well. So you can toggle this all to your own liking based on whatever experience you want to use. Uh, and you can see there it's recognized the PMDG 737-800 there too. So let's plan our pushback for the very first time. Like before with Toolbar Pushback, the freeware that we enjoyed two, three, four years ago, two or three years ago, we get this kind of option here where we um, we can see the aeroplane floating around and it's following us around with a cursor. So we want to create that rather odd pushback option. Now if I press and hold with my left mouse I can drag this around as I need to try and kind of expand and move the map around. If I use my scroll wheel what I can do is select uh, a rotation of the aircraft to get the positioning right so we will do that one there, the first leg, rotate the scroll wheel, the mouse wheel again to select the next um, point which I want the nose wheel to be straight, get the aircraft aligned with that yellow line like so, we'll select that and once again we just basically follow the arc and you can see each time we click another waypoint what it does is it uh, recognises that. and it will show where the new position of the aircraft will be. Now I've done clicking so I don't want to add any more waypoints for the pushback in here. I can just go and find this little uh, tick box like so and select it. If you wanted to push forwards you can see here that we've pushed all the way back. My next waypoint would be forwards like so. With the pro version which I'll do just to show you guys how it works and we can push it forwards again. So I'll just select another waypoint there. If you make a mistake and you want to reset the whole thing you can use the little reset button, the undo or the delete to kind of uh, fix the bits that you've made the mistakes of. And you've got the zoom icon and the little lock button there so you can see uh, your zooms. So we're done. We'll press the tick and you can see now at the very top we've got edit plan pushback in green which uh, will allow us to go back into that menu and fix anything if we've made a little mistake and I'll request connect tug. Now I have found it's a bit quirky we've got no tug available at the moment so therefore it doesn't actually have any appear 
And it's probably because it's clashing with GSX, because they're both installed. We're going to press start pushback. And it's telling us release parking brake. So I'm going to do that, and away we go. If at any point we need to hold position, we can just press this hold button and it will hold um, and we basically pause the pushback and then we can click it again to resume. Um, or if it's going really wrong, we can press the big old red icon like so for cancelling that pushback. But let's uh, watch how it does this. The noticeable difference here is with GSX, uh, your pushback tugs if it is a stand like this, will be present, it will be available. Whereas, uh, as we can see in this item, with uh, Toolbar Pushback Pro, the tug was reluctant to appear and hasn't appeared. So now it's pushing back without a tug. The main thing is that it's actually giving us an accurate pushback. Um, so the tug doesn't give us the immersion because it's missing, but otherwise the actual pushback procedure itself, really quite neat. Although, in this circumstance, for example, you need to know that this is one of the pushback um, routings or procedures here at Bristol. A custom GSX profile will give you that as an option, whereas uh, the Toolbar Pushback Pro will need you to actually set it yourself. If you don't know, then you won't be able to push back uh, realistically in this fashion necessarily. If, certainly if you're on VAT sim and this is what you're asked to do, GSX makes things a little simpler. Really good option though to have because I know some people don't really get on very well with GSX. They don't like the um, added sort of uh, frustrations or complications of having a new profile put in. You can see it's going to finish pushing us backwards and then it's going to tow us forwards like we just asked it to a moment ago. So we've come all the way out of stand six over there, down this yellow line, backwards, and now we're being tugged forwards into the junction. If we go back on to pushback, you can see it's completed. Now if we had a tug in position, there we would actually get um, sort of like a little bit more feedback from the product, but I want to show you guys my actual experience here. I've tried it at a couple of gates and uh, the same thing has happened each time where it, the tug doesn't appear. Uh, what you'll then find is it will just stop. So you'll need to make sure you're going back into this screen, setting your parking brake once you have found the location you need to be stopping at, and then confirming that your pushback has been disconnected. And then uh, away you go. Obviously you then start your engines and begin your taxi. But nothing more to it. I say it's a short, sweet video, but actually I think we've covered a fair bit. Uh, releasing 22nd of February 2024 for just under Ten pounds uh, or ten euros, including tax on the Aerosoft website. So, toolbar pushback, a really nice freeware from a couple of years ago. Now payware in MSFS. I hope you found the video useful. Hit like and subscribe. Share your thoughts down in the comment section below, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.